That's the end of the fruit, the monkey, and the greedy boy. <laughs> This is where the blue boy hides, lost in play and pranks. Where then does all the magic lie? What kind of magic can this little cow have made? The kind that can do this? This is the python Krishna killed this morning. How can he run? Oh, Brahman. Why are you so flustered? I have an idea. Yes, yes, my lord. But I fear we have a very clever wizard to deal with. Have you forgotten that the Lord has given me charge of the greatest task in the universe? Can Brahma not find out the secret of this little magician's tricks? Come close. So you will become a great big cow someday and give lots of sweetness for Krishna and Balram. I have the best samosas today. That's enough for you too. Mm. Oh Krishna, look at this snowy white rasgullas my mother sent. Please take some. Hmm? Mm. My mother sent a lovely little kajori. She told me to share them with you. Mm -hmm. Oh Krishna, I have your favorite rose sandesh. Hmm. Please give some. And now, my beloved friend, look what I've got. The sweetest, the most fragrant. Mango chicken. And mother has packed enough for all of you. Mm. Krishna, Krishna, I can't find the calves. I've looked for them everywhere. Come on, Tibala, sit down. You haven't even had your lunch. I'll take care of it, Subala. You must have wandered into the forest. Just sit down and eat. All of you stay here. I'll be back with the calves. Is you, Brahma, who wishes to play with me? I have a pure 
appeared on the earth on your call. And now, even you are truly really bewildered. Have you seen my son yet? Krishna and the boys have not returned. They should have returned hours ago. It is already late, and these mothers are anxious about their son. I shall not allow this trick of Brahma to break the hearts of these mothers. The dear mothers of Vrindavan love me so much. They have longed to have me as their son, and the cows of Vrindavan love me even more than their cows. I shall give them all the chance they are waiting for. I shall fulfill their pure desire. Bright and beautiful as Krishna. Hmm, and so does my darling Sukhana. Oh, Yashoda, how bright all the boys look. They appear very special this evening, almost like Krishna himself. You're right, there is some magic in the air. <laughs> As Krishna continued to manifest himself in place of his missing friends, the days passed happily, as did the seasons. And while Brahma kept the coward boys and calves hidden in dreamland, Krishna kept the parents of Vrindavan filled with joy. And the cows filled with milk for their beloved calves. The villagers could not see the cause of their constant bliss. The truth was that every home had Krishna, and every barn too. Krishna was everywhere. Yashoda, there is an amazing sense of happiness in Vrindavan these days. That's so true, my lord. I don't hear anyone complaining. Fathers and mothers are so happy with their children. As for the cows, the milkmen have a hard time taking their calves away from them. Their love for the calves seems to overflow. I feel so happy to see the mother's eyes light up magically with great affection for their son, just the same way I feel for Krishna. I've wondered special magic spell I'm under when I'm with Krishna. Now I see that happen with all of them, too. That's it. Magic spell. That's what Vrindavan seems to be under. Hmm. A magic spell. Oh, oh Krishna. I know it's you. Oh, Lord. How have I got myself into this fix? Already one year has passed on earth. Let me go to Vrindavan and find out what Krishna is up to, having lost the boys and calves. <laughs> How can this be? The cowherd boys are asleep in the clouds. 
and a car hidden away in the happy dreamland. <laughs> How can they all be here? Play with Krishna?
spells. I'm just your little boy, not a magician.